Hello everyone, so let's discuss module 7 of quarter 4. Of course, we're still in sign 7. Let's start with the what I know answers. Paki pause na lang ng video. Okay, how far is the sun in the sky? This is our lesson. So the spinning of the earth on its own axis is what we call rotation. And the imaginary line that divides the earth around the middle into two halves, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere, is called the equator. So rec let's recall the earth and its latitude. So starting with the equator it at 0 degree latitude, Tropic of Cancer is 23.5 degrees north and Arctic Circle is 66.5 degrees north. Tropic of Capricorn, on the other hand, is 23.5 degrees south, and Antarctic Circle is located 66.5 degrees south. So, the movement of the sun in a path, I mean, sorry, the movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution, and the path where the earth traveled is an orbit. So, the Earth revolves around the Sun at a speed of 108,000 kilometers per hour. And the Earth completes one orbit every 365 days, 6 hours and 8 minutes, approximately 365 and one fourth days or one year. The remaining one fourth Day is added to the calendar after every four years. The year with 366 days is called a leap year. And let's recall that the Earth axis or the Earth's axis is tilted at 23.5 degrees from the vertical. Okay, let's talk about the Earth's orbit. So when you say Earth's orbit, it's the path where the Earth traveled uh, while revolving around the sun. So when the earth is closest to the sun, it is said to be at perihelion. On the other hand, when the earth is at its farthest distance from the sun, we call it aphelion. Okay, and the average distance of the earth from the sun is about 149.6 million kilometers, which is also referred to as one astronomical unit. So, let's have the answers sa mga succeeding questions. Okay, concept map. So, we have here, seasons are related to the height of the moon in the sky, are caused by aphelion perihelion, not directly related to aphelion perihelion. Is lowest during winter, is highest during summer, and it varies due to the tilt of the earth. Assessment part. What is the force that keeps the Earth from moving straight into space? It's gravity. The Earth makes one revolution. Ev mm, this should be rotation. It's not revolution. So, correction. Kasi sa ating answer key, it's revolution ang answer niya. Pero upon checking, it should be rotation. Every 24 hours, ang mangyayari is one complete rotation. The Earth makes one revolution around the Sun in about how many days? Okay, 365 days, not 24 hours. The Earth takes one year to move around the Sun. What is an imaginary line through the center of the Earth around which the Earth rotates? So, it's axis. On the other hand, the imaginary line through the center of the Earth... Uh, no, the imaginary line around which the earth followed in revolving around the sun, it's already orbit. What do you call the point on earth's orbit when the earth is closest to the sun, it's perihelion? What effect does the tilting of the earth cause? 
it changes the angle then the sun that the sun strikes the earth in different land areas when it is summer in southern hemisphere which of the following best describes the tilting of the earth in the northern hemisphere away from the sun which motion do the arrows in the diagram represent it's earth's revolution so this is the earth at some moment then at another moment this is the sun here so earth's revolution the sun's height is at the maximum when it is directly overhead at solar noon what do you call the location on earth where this occurs subsolar point which of the following best describes solstices the point in the orbit orbit of maximum axial tilt toward or away from the sun where would direct rays from the sun hit in june mostly in northern hemisphere where would direct rays from the sun hit in december mostly in the southern hemisphere how long does it take the earth to complete one revolution around the sun it would be 365 days one year letter c three and four what is the Earth's orbit, the path of an Earth around the Sun? Okay, kayo nang bahala dito. Write a poem or a story about the Sun's observed height and its effects on the length of daylight and amount of solar energy on Earth. I know you can do this. You are a very talented individual. You are a very talented student. You can do this on your own. When I was a student, I used to compose poems okay so i hope you will do the same you will compose you write your own poem okay so thank you so much for watching our um video lesson for today and see you some module 8 9 and 10